Welcome to Ream Tech Tips. Ream New Zealand Limited does not in any way endorse the installation or maintenance of Ream products by an unlicensed practitioner. The work shown in this video is provided as a guide only. Full instruction manuals are available online from my Ream Pro. This time we're going to show how to check and diagnose burner flame detection faults on Ream Series 2 gas continuous flow water heaters. If flame detection is not working, the unit will show error codes 11 or 12 on the LED display. These faults are dealt with in tech tips 5 and 6, but if the burner is igniting and a flame is seen through the sight glass, the following steps will diagnose flame sensing problems. Series 2 gas continuous flow burners are split into three sections. During the ignition sequence, gas is supplied to the burner through solenoid 2 only. This section of the burner has the igniter electrode and a flame sensor. Once this section is operating, solenoids 1 and 3 will open, so the remaining burner sections can cross light. Flame sensor 2 will detect the flame at the left side of the burner to prove cross lighting has occurred. Flame sensor 1 will detect the flame at the middle and right hand sections of the burner. Access the maintenance information as covered in tech tips number 3 and navigate to 0Y. The status of each flame sensor can be displayed as a two digit number. Each digit will either be a 1 to indicate the flame is being sensed or a 0 to indicate no flame. The first digit refers to sensor 2 and the second digit refers to sensor 1. A table is shown on the diagnosis sheet inside the front cover of each unit and also on page 12 of the service manual to explain this further. The top row indicates the power output of the burner which is controlled by operating the sections of the burner. The second line has the two digit number shown at 0Y. Below this are the two flame rod status and below that the status of the three burner solenoids. When the unit is not operating, 0Y will display 00, zero indicating no flame at each flame sensor. During ignition, solenoid 2 opens and flame is detected at sensor 1. 0, 1 will be displayed for this. From cold, the full burner will then operate by opening solenoids 1 and 3. A flame will be detected at sensor 2, so the number at 0, Y changes to 1, 1, showing a flame at both sensors. During operation, as the burner output changes, the combination of solenoids operate. Here, solenoids 2 and 1 are running. 0Y shows 1,1. One, one. Solenoid 1 by itself will show 1,0, indicating flame no longer at sensor 1. A lower burner power output using solenoids 3 and 2 will show as 0, 1. Solenoid 3 only shows as 0, 1. And finally back to the lowest power level displayed as 0, 1. Error code 11 will be displayed if no flame is detected at sensor 1 during the 5 ignition attempts at startup. And the display will remain at 0, 0 during this full sequence. Once ignition has been completed and a flame is sensed, any flame problem after that would result in error code 12. Using this diagnostic during operation of the unit will confirm which flame sensor is causing the fault. Each flame sensor and lead will then need to be checked for anything physically wrong, bad connection or cracked ceramic sleeve. Sometimes cleaning the end of the sensor will fix the problem Otherwise, the sensor and lead will need replacing. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, 
full product details, spare parts, installation and service manuals are all available through my Ream Pro. Also, our nationwide service centre network can provide further product support if required. So just reach out to the team.